Hey everyone, looks into here. Welcome back to the Lou. So today we are going to make our beautiful snail again. I think I'm going to I'm think I'm going to go with the name Brad or Bradley. I'm still thinking about it. You guys came up with some great suggestions, by the way. I love them. Anyway, we are going to take this same mold of the snail from Let's Resin. We are going to use some beautiful gold chunky mix glitter from Franz Glitter and More called Prestige. We are going to use some metallic powder also called marble color in gold this time instead of the silver that I used last time. And I'm going to use some into resin, epoxy resin. And let's just, let's just make ourselves a gold glittery snail to go with our friend, the silver mother of pearl snail. Let's get going. We're back. Okay, this is sat overnight. It is hardened up. I love this glitter. So what I'm going to do now for the rest of the mold, I'm going to brush on this gold marble color, which is a it's a metallic powder, not a mica powder. I picked a gold powder and a gold glitter that sort of complemented each other, and now we're going to brush in the gold powder everywhere in the in the parts of the mold that are left exposed. Tap out the excess. It took about six ounces to fill up the snail shell so far, and it takes about 9.9 .9 fluid ounces to fill the entire mold. So basically I need about four more ounces. I am going to use this epoxy resin from the Into Resin Company. They sent me this a while ago to test out, which I did in at least one other video. I will link to that below if you're curious to see it. I used it, I think, on a tumbler and maybe in a mold as well, because it looks like there's quite a bit missing from these bottles. And I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to put it in here after stirring some of this gold powder into it. We'll see what happens. This is just a reminder of how our Aquacast snail turned out. Actually looks pretty good. I love how this actually looks like Mother of Pearl or Abalone from the Camellia Mica I brushed in here originally into the mold. Anyway, let's get to the epoxy resin version. I'm curious to see how it looks. And I'm also curious to see if the eye stalks, which I incorrectly called antennae last time, but the eye stalks come out or if they're going to break off in this case as well and require me to, I think I'll use UV resin to glue them back on this time if, if necessary. But let's, um, let's see if I can get the whole thing out intact. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> and also not cut my knuckles in the process. Please, little snail, hold on to your eye stalks. Oh, yay, it came out. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, almost broke off. This one, that one's almost broken off. And this one, broken, broken-ish a little farther down. So what I'm going to do in both cases is I'm going to use a little UV resin to shore those up. But yay, it worked. Uh, it's got a little bit of silver. I love how <laughs> a little bit of silver in the eye stalks as well because I couldn't get down in there when I washed except to run water down there. But I love how the gold glitter also worked. And look at that. Now, if there were just a way, if you were to fill this up to the extent that you got the entire shell filled with glitter resin, 
then it would also come up and fill the rest of the body cavity as well. So this was the only way, now from this side it looks better. This was really the only way to do this in two parts like I did. Do I dislike it? No, because sitting here like this, it looks, it looks perfect. <laughs> looking at it like this, it's a little weird looking, but I love that. I absolutely love that. This is a very slippery snail as well because the inside of the mold is very shiny you end up with a very slippery, oops, too much. Just leave that on there for a couple rounds. It's two minutes per cycle. I'll do a couple cycles and then we will see how it looks. See how these are doing here. Pretty good. We have our beautiful snails of gold and silver and glitter and uh, mother of pearl. And we are gonna go out in the sunshine and get our final sunshine shot. So thank you for joining me today. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you in the next video, but don't go away.